What's up YouTubers? Today I'm at the Undercliff Cemetery in Bradford. Now a while ago I uploaded a video of a, a restoration of a grave in this cemetery. And that video sparked a lot of interest. And we were fortunate enough to actually meet Graham the Grave Digger. So today what I'm going to do is show you another grave where the cross actually collapsed. And I'll show you how Graham and his team actually uh, put the cross back into his place. As you can see, there's quite a few crosses that have collapsed. There's one here. But the one I want to show you that Graham restored is this one here. Now I know it's sunny, I don't know if, it, if you can see that. It was actually laying face down here. So I'll upload that video shortly. So anyone new that has stumbled across our channel, please have a look at our content and do consider subscribing and do like, thank you. Okay Graham, we stood at the side of another grave. Okay. And there's a, a cross that's fallen over. Will you be doing anything with it? Yeah, we're going to lift it up and we're going to just place it on top of here. We're not going to replace that, you know, you can see that it's, been, it's probably been there for maybe 50, 50, 60 years. So, you know, if it hasn't moved, it, it hadn't corroded that back, you know. And by the time we try to knock that out, it may not come out. Yeah. So we're just going to... Okay. And then what will happen later, it, that seems to be down a bit low, yeah. but Chris will drill some holes through here. So I'll drill a hole into there and into there, about three inches into the bottom one. And then similar down at the bottom here, you know, just to support it and, you know, fix it all in one go. And it's a uh, what? Um, this is granite. Yeah. This is granite. And if you look here, this is proper gold. This will oh, right. be gold leaf. So this will stay like that, you know, it's stayed that like in that since 1933. So And the rest of them, is it washed away or something? Or they they, they else may never have been done. It doesn't look like they've ever been done. Yeah. Uh, so that, so this lady died in 1933. So that'll have been gilded probably in 1933. Yeah. Or, you know, a few years later than that. And it says Doris Elizabeth died august the 6th 1909 so it's probably a 1909 grave isn't it it's probably that yeah yeah usually the first one in is here so okay. 1909 no no so this granite where do you think it would have come from do you reckon uh, that's probably aberdeen as well that's probably aberdeen or it could be cumbria could be cumbria you know it, it also came from um it came from um, like Cornwall area. Yeah, because it so, seems to be a sort of variations on the type of of material due to monuments. Yeah. But now it all mostly comes from India and China. Mm. So you know when you order it, you, you know it all comes. It's cheaper to bring it from India and China than it does to bring from other places in the country. It's sort of engraved here then as well. Um, so, sometimes you engrave it here. Sometimes you engrave it, you know, abroad. Um, it takes I think about six weeks on the boat to come. Yeah altogether so it's, there's quite a lot of uh, time you know that it takes so, so this engraving how would it have, i mean would they have used some sort of a drill or would it have been done by hand or stamped so all, all this in in this day and age yeah it'll be just you know they'd have had um, a, a monumental mason and that's yeah. what his job had been all day long just chipping away hammer and chisel hammer and chisel are really fine chisels yeah. and a wooden hammer yeah. a wooden mallet and that's what his job would have been you know he'd have set it all out you know in in calligraphy and um, you know they'd set it all out and then they just ch chisel away all day long that's all that's all it'll have been his yeah. job would have been high school job isn't it that one? yeah but nowadays it's quite simple job yeah. it's a matter of it's just all done by computers and um, and then it's either uh, you use a v-cutter or the sandblast it mm. sandblast it out okay we're going to get the straps on. No, no, no. Uh, one on each side. Okay. 
Maybe that's it. It is heavy, yeah. What do you reckon the weight then? Oh, this is not horrendous, isn't this? Uh, maybe about 40, 50 kilos. Clearly too heavy to lift. It's too heavy, it's too... No, on your own. <laughs> it's not only too heavy, it's... We might as well lift it by machine. Yeah, of course, yeah. That's he. No. That's he. Go over side. And then, no, keep going, keep it up just in case that happens. Got an uh, axle? No. Check it out. Put it back together. Yeah, what what's happened is is all the all the um, plinths are moving, and we we weren't aware of that at the first. So what we're going to do is this is next week is going to drill drill them all out. We'll, we'll have, have to, to put about 15 millimeters off the top. Uh, you know the pin's plenty big, but the cement will be right in, or, or either that or we can drill it out, can't we? Um, it could be full of mud as well. Though, yeah, yeah, so yeah it could have been. If you've got a small pin, yeah, 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 and see if we can get some mud down. Is that where he's gone to look for? Screwdriver or something like that. So in there at the moment, what do we have in there at it, the moment? It's lead, it's lead in here. Yeah. So they'll have poured molten lead into it and put it on top of the dowel over there. Okay. Has and it... it'll have been exactly the same size, you know, because the it's that sort of thing. We might have to cut a little bit off the dowel. <laughs> How much do you think you'll have to nip off? Oh, about 15 millimetres. 15 millimetres, okay. Yeah. Uh, it, make, it makes it plenty strong. Yeah. Just steel. So how old is that? What do you think, Kevin? That'll be 1930s. 1930s. It's unlikely it's been stainless steel. You all right? All right. Oh, where's the S? 
Yes, yeah, needs to be at front. It's on the front, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So what we need to do, what we need to do, the old trick is an old apron underneath. Well, I'm, I'm still and uh, Graham, many people won't know what apron is. We'll just put a <laughs> what's the apron? Tuck them under there. See what it does. Tuck them the bag. So now, I think we just. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, we just need another tuppence. Graham, you know? Some of the monuments that have fallen, you've obviously put an apron which people don't know what is nowadays. Yeah. All right. Uh, but obviously you've shown what it is now. Have you come across this with old monuments that people have put something no. underneath it to? No. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've noticed that there's an S on the front. Okay. Uh, the, the, uh, so the S will be for the uh, the family name, the family name of it. 